Well, joining me now for more on the earthquakes in China, John Casey, co-founder and chairman of the International Earthquake and Volcano Prediction Center. Thanks for joining us. There, Thank you, Anand. There is a grim warning on your organization's website. You're predicting another major earthquake in the Sichuan area before June of 2013. That's pretty soon. On what, do you make, uh, on what basis do you make that prediction? Our group is unique in the world in that we use many earthquake precursor signals to make a decision whether one is coming. Uh, this particular quake you're referring to is more centered south in the Yunnan province than the Sichuan, but in any case, we do predict, predict a quake in that area between magnitude 6.0 and 7.0 before the end of June. And that's pretty serious. Uh, what are those indicators that you look at? We have a proprietary process that analyzes a dozen different signals. Uh, this is unique uh, in the globe in terms of how earthquakes are predicted. In the past, we've always looked at one or two signals. For example, even in China in 1975, they were able to predict a quake of magnitude 7.3 using a couple of predictors. We use a dozen different signals, both electronic, ground-based, uh, and human-based and integrate all of those signals together and finally come up with our prediction. But this one does look fairly certain. We've been 100% successful since we began this process. There were some pretty strong aftershocks after this present uh, earthquake in that part of uh, Sichuan in uh, right. Lusan County. Is the worst now over, or could we see more of those aftershocks? Uh, clearly, uh, the entire region, according to our scientists, is uh, being subjected to a lot of energy release uh, through the mantle. So we are actually predicting for the entire area a record, uh, near record number and intensity of earthquakes for the next 30 years, actually. Uh, so we should encourage everyone there, the Chinese government and the people, to prepare for quakes on a fairly regular basis, uh, equal or larger than the one that just hit the Sichuan area on April the 20th. Now, there are these fault lines which are all over the world, of course, across, uh, right. of course. but this particular fault line, uh, is it more active than the other fault lines around the world, and, and why is that so? It's certainly one of the more active. The Longmanshan fault line is a thrust fault line that uh, is actually been formed as a result of 25 million years of effort by the Indian plate crashing into or crashing into the Euro-Asian plate and creating not only the Himalayas, but creating faults throughout that region. The area south of that are strike-slip faults, a little different uh, structure to them, but can be equally as large or devastating. But yes, there are many faults through that 